Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. I am Damilari Ladili. In this video today, I am going to show you how to use the magic expand feature on Canva to expand any image. And what is the implication of this to you? It means that if you have any image that you want to use, but the proportion of the image does not fit your exact purpose, you are going to learn how you can make that image to fit into your purpose and you're going to be using a very popular tool called Canva. Now one of the tools that people normally use for this kind of activity is um, to deploy AI tools and some of those AI tools might be sophisticated and the truth is you might not be able to afford them but you know Canva is already becoming a household software that it's almost are impossible to resist nowadays and if you have a canva pro account or a canva education account or you use a canva team account you will be able to access this feature on your canva account and um, i would like to show you why you need to actually expand an image what might actually necessitate you expanding an image on canva so if you want to expand image there is a particular need and the first need you need to consider is to bring your image to the right proportion every image you see right there have their own proportion they have their own dimensions your image might actually be in landscape mode and you want to make a portrait design probably your image has a wide screen view and you want to put it to portrait view so for you to actually make the image come into proportion you can use the magic expand effect well it is called magic expand but the truth is also that you can use it to constrict or to shrink an image onto a smaller dimension the second point is that it will enable you to fit any image to your own personal design like i said you might actually be working on a landscape design and you have a portrait pattern image and um, what magic expand does for you is to make your image fit into the design you are presently embarking upon so that you don't have to engage yourself into the stress of looking for another image that perfectly fits onto your design another thing is in prototyping you know when you are making prototypes there are many samples that you would like to create you would like to fit images into those prototypes and those prototypes will be in different sizes in different forms in different dimensions so you can use magic expand to make your image fit into all these prototypes that you are creating then the next point is versatility what do i mean by versatility your magic expand feature turns your image to a one image fit it all object for you in such a way that you can use one image on multiple platforms and on multiple sizes and the last point i'm going to mention is that it helps to retain an image's unique characteristics yes this is very important because when you have an image that can be expanded and contracted it will help you to use that image across board and you know that image will actually retain its unique characteristics while it fits into every dimension of your design work and now before i go on yes this is id data concepts youtube channel where i show you tutorials and i give you very valuable content in the areas of tech and some of the tools you can use to expand your business online so if you are getting value on this channel kindly consider to subscribe using the button below and also make sure that you make a comment on this video drop your comment on how you feel about this video and now as I go on, I'm going to show you the steps that it requires to expand your image using the magic expand feature. So let us go right into it. And um, the first requirement is, of course, your device. Either you are using a mobile phone or you are using a desktop gadget. It is important that you prepare your device for this particular feature and also yes you can use the canva web version or the canva app version 
whichever one you use just make sure you have an access onto canva and then the second requirement that is needed is of course a canva account now i'm not just talking about a canva account but you need a canva pro account a canva teams account a canva education account or some other specific kinds of canva accounts but one thing i am very sure of is the fact that you cannot access this feature on canva free version and in case you just open your canva account for this purpose i want to tell you that you can actually access this feature by trying out the pro version you can use the free trial access on canva to access this feature just make sure you input your correct details and also you put your credit card details and canva will allow you to use the canva free feature for 30 days and afterwards you will be required to pay for canva services and then the third requirement you need to access the magic expand feature is of course the knowledge of canva and you don't have to get yourself worried about that because that is why i am here for you right so i'm just gonna go straight onto my screen now and i will show you how exactly you can use this wonderful feature on canva for your own benefit and i'm going to be showing you how you can apply the magic expand feature on any image of your choice are you ready let's go one two three all right right here i'm on my screen and the first thing you need to do is to actually create a custom size for your design and for this design i'm going to be creating first the landscape mode image so i'm going to pick the custom size and I will pick um okay let me pick 1920 by 1080 pixels and um, the canvas space is being created and right now you can see that we already have this space that is created the next thing you will need to do is actually to upload the necessary image all right so i already prepared an image for that particular purpose here on my folder so i'd just like to import that particular image and okay and as you can see already this is an image that is on my uh, canva space that has been provided but what you will notice about this image is the fact that we have a rectangular space for ourselves here and um, we have another rectangular image but what you will notice about this image is that you can see that this image is in portrait mode where clearly this uh, canvas space is in landscape mode so how am i going to ensure that this image fits into this box that is exactly what canva magic expand feature does for you so the first thing you need to do is to click on that image and then move to edit photo and when you get to edit photo the next thing you would like to do is to look on this very first line here you can see background remover you want to remove background that's not why we are here we have magic eraser again that is not why we are here the third feature is exactly what we are looking for this is magic expand and then you hit on that feature and now we have some uh sizes that you can get to select here all right but the one we need is all page because we actually want this image to fill this space so when you click on all page you are going to click on magic expand and you are going to leave canva to do the magic for you so wait for it again if you are getting massive value in this video kindly go to the comment section and write canva magic expand go there and write it now i want to see your comments and also if there is any other topic you would like me to create a video on kindly make me know in the comment section and i will not hesitate to create a video on that so you can see the magic now all right this is really looking very awesome canva has already completed the task for you who would have known that this is not the original image that was supplied and you know what canva is not just stopping by giving you a particular template you have an option to select other templates of your choice okay so look at this you can pick this look at this you can pick this personally i'm not gonna pick this because we already have two crucifix 
in the image so i'm not gonna pick this and um i think i actually like this so i'm gonna go with this after you have selected your choice from the area of images that were displayed the next thing you need to do is to click on done so that that image will save for you and um, guys that is it that is how you can use magic expand feature to expand an image without actually losing quality so the next thing you need to do okay let me rename this image and put magic expand and um, you will need to click on the share button to actually get that particular image on your device so i'm going to click on download and then i am going to click on download finally so that particular image is going to be downloaded on my device and here you can have the image can you see the quality is high and you can see this is a very wonderful image you will not even know that the image was not this original size and um, as you can see we have been able to go from this to this this is a great feature and i'd like you to practice this and try it out for yourself all right and um, i have another tutorial and that tutorial is based on how you can create a canva template for yourself and um, i would like you to watch this video that is showing on your screen right now to create your own canva template all right thank you very much for watching this video and um, i'm very certain i am going to see you in another one but before you go ensure that you hit on the subscribe button so that we will meet again on this channel thank you